my the nonprofit started as it came from a simple idea. It was the, it was created the 15th of January, right? One day after the revolution, after the 14th of January, the president, uh, former president, ran away. So the 15th of January, the um, uh, as the nonprofit was created. The GED Association was created, and the idea behind that is that people were very happy. They got their freedom. Um, they were allowed for the first time of their life to speak. And they, they were eager to participate. They were eager to take part. They were eager to participate to the decision-making process, but they didn't, they didn't know how. They didn't understand what was happening. Yes, we know that our president ran away, but they didn't know what is coming next. Okay, what, uh, I mean, it was like um, we didn't have a government, we didn't have a president, we were in the street, so what to do next? And we got a lot of, I mean, many circumstances may, may, may also uh, justify the creation of uh, similar projects, is, is that after the revolution, as people were eager to participate, as I said, we witnessed the creation of um, many political parties, like over 150 political parties in the same time, in like two months. Um, a lot of associations and nonprofits were created because people, as I, as I said, wanted to participate. Uh, and we knew that we had to elect um, a temporary government, and we knew that we have to draft a constitution, but m few of us knew what is coming next, but many people did not. They didn't even distinguish the difference between the different ideologies. I mean, as if I was talking to um, a United States citizen and he didn't know the difference between Democrats and Republicans, for example. So I had to deal with people who didn't even know the meaning or the, the, the definition of a political party, the definition of a government, um, what is coming next, as I said. So I we had I, we needed, I mean, uh, the people like me who were familiar with those concepts, um, we wanted to help people to understand just that. So we started as um, a group of people, of students, um, like young, young people, and we wanted to uh, help people to understand. So we kept writing articles to explain the events happening in simple way, because one of the mistakes done with people in the, in the high positions or uh, politicians is that they kept um, um, coming to TV shows and talking to people with, with la using languages they didn't understand. So, and people were asking a lot of questions and they needed to understand. Um, so we needed to help them. We kept writing articles in a simple language. We kept uh, reading all the newspapers and um, just do this resume um, of the most important events so that people can be updated. Um, and it started like that, and it got bigger uh, day after day um, until we had our elections. We had to vote for one president and for some representatives among, as I said, 150 political parties, even more. Um, uh, where I had people coming to me and saying, I want to go to vote, I want to elect, but I don't know who to choose or whom to vote for. Um, so we thought to create this platform. It is a virtual platform called Ikhtiar, and Ikhtiar in Arabic means choice. Um, so we invited um, people, I mean, um, professional people, uh, politicians from, from uh, Germany, from France, and from Tunisia also. We have really good, good uh, people. Um, and, and we gathered them, and we tried to work on those 30 particular questions. 30 questions because we needed um, just a few number of questions, and they were really simple, but reflecting the ideology or the tendencies of the people. I mean, I may ask you, like, um, do you want the um, education to be private or public? You may answer by saying private or public, one of them, but you don't know that it is reflecting an ideology, um, a fr your ideology or your tendency. So we worked on those 30 questions, particular questions, uh, dealing with economic, uh, the economic field, the uh, cultural field, the human rights, the law, um, education, all the, the, the health, every single field. Um, and and um, we uh, gave the, those questions to every political leader of all the political um, uh, parties, and we got their answers on, um, about those questions, and we put all the, those answers in uh, a database, 
Um, and we put this platform, we open this platform to the, the to the visitors. So anyone who would go to the, visit the platform and answer those questions will get at the end um, a matching percentage showing which political party would uh, fit uh, the most your uh, answers so that you can know uh, which political party suits you the most.